ground that we were on this morning. The winds were really, really bad this afternoon. We haven't had much luck today. Um, in terms of numbers, we've seen, we've seen a few, but not as many as we have. So we're just sitting up here, probably till the last light. Hopefully some, some goats will come out of the fridge. If not, we'll just have to go home empty handed, but hopefully, hopefully a big one comes out so James can take it with a 3 3 8. That's the plan. Or if we see a mob of nannies or small billies, the long bow will come out. And the view. And then these guys walked out. We're about to go sit on the dam. Okay, the other are just there. Hopefully they stay up. front there. If can't get a clear shot now. Is he in that group there? Yep. Okay if you can shoot I think I'll have him. I don't know which one it is man. Let's get closer. Holding off because I wasn't sure if he had him in frame or not. None of them even stood out to me, man. I was looking for him, but the front one, he was hard to tell because he he didn't go out wide. It didn't look like he had long spread, but he went up and then out. Yep. They we can probably get behind him again and track him up. I if, reckon that's what we do. If you want, man, let's do it. Head back up to the top of that hill too. Our packs and they're up there. We'll get them later. Yeah.
Well, we're just trying to catch up to these billies. They winded us earlier. So now we're trying to intercept them. There's a big one at the front. James is estimating around 35, which will be his personal best. So we're really trying to get it for him. Intense stuff chasing the big ones, eh? <laughs> oh man. Cat and mouse. <laughs> Every time he got open, another goat would walk in front of him. <laughs> and I'm not going to shoot through two goats. No way. And every time his vitals would open, like his horn, would fucking... Yeah, be in the way. <sighs> Let's go back on to him. right near him, eh? Good man, you chase chasing one goat, we're gonna get him. Oh mate, if we do get him, he's gonna mean the world. <laughs> it's been a pretty intense stalk, I tell you. I'm sweating. I oh, know, the wind's going crazy. Let's drop down in here. You need to jump up under that, under that bush there and try and get a clear shot because they're spreading out now, they're, they're in the open. I'm just about to walk through the tree. Shoot when ready, just aim in front of him, unless he stops. That's not him. 
God damn it. I hope this wind holds off, man. Oh, it's not real good, it's on the back. We should be protected by this hill. Good move. Which one is he? He's the one just about to touch the tree. Oh yeah, yep. They just got that wind. He's a big goat. He is good. Just trying to intercept these goats again, and the wind's right up our ass. So, hopefully, being up higher than them, they won't smell us unless they've beaten us to the top. We do. James, James. I'm not sure if I hit him, man. You did, he's down, look. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! I don't know whether I got the impact shot, man, but congrats. Dude! Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was a stalker. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Drop like a rock. Man, I hope I had that on camera, I didn't know. I couldn't see him and then he just popped up and I seen you shoot. We've been chasing him for, I don't know, three kilometers. Yeah, easy, our car's a long way away. We probably had, what, five opportunities, six opportunities? Yeah, the wind. Couldn't get a good shot. <laughs> Kept persisting. We've had a hell of a day. The wind is really, really, um, been a pain in the ass for us. That there is what I came here for and I did Thank you. <laughs> hey, thank you for recording that. No worries, man. By the way, what a great hunt, man. That was awesome. <laughs> I just hope I had the impact shot, dude, because I can hardly see because the sun, the sun's on my viewfinder. That's fine, dude. We got it. Oh Holy yeah, shit. what a stalk man. Oh my god, that is one of the most exhilarating hunts I've ever been on. Alright guys, James is just here with the Billy shot. Hasn't even measured it yet. So we've got a 30 inch arrow and he's going to do the honours. We're, we're hoping for 33 plus. Moment of truth, Tony. I wish I had a tape measure. I'd say that's 32. 32. Whole lot of character. I mean, I thought he was a lot bigger than actually he is, but if anything, the stalk made it. Like, I don't think I've ever been as 
thrilled with a stalk and exhilarating finish to a, a hard hunt. It really was. He was a smart old Billy and it was definitely tricky to get onto him. Nah, he did well, man. It was a really good stalk, really good hunt. And a good shot to finish him off as well. Nice and ethical. He's got a lot of curve. I always like that. It's a beautiful cape. I'll cape him out. With a 338. I love the caliber. <laughs> I love it. Good stuff, man. Let's get to work on him. No worries, bro. Hey guys, it's our last day. I haven't had much luck this morning, it's been really slow. We we got onto a couple of camel, but as normal, through the week they've just disappeared on us. Today was the same story, we followed their prints, their prints just disappeared. Uh, a lot harder than we thought to hunt. So basically right now we're sitting on this rocky mound, we've got a nice bit of elevation. We sat up here yesterday when James shot his billy. This is where we spotted them from. So we're doing the same thing today. We've got the spotting scope out. So if any come around, we can assess the trophy potential. Uh, the longbow got put away. We tried this morning. We're really trying to get one with the longbow, but the, the goats weren't really cooperating. We sat on some dams and waited, but yeah, it, it was a slow morning. So today, hopefully, during this afternoon the goats will come out or a camera will come out and we can take one and get some more footage it's our last day so we'd really like to Distance pays off again. We've just come onto these billies, they've just come out of the fringe. So we're gonna try and cut across and the wind's blowing right across there. So we're gonna try and get over there before they make their way up. They've, they've made this pattern yesterday as well, so hopefully they make the same the same movement through the bush today. If they do, they'll be in some serious trouble.
want to watch this band keep filming. Have a look at this shit. <laughs> Stampede, bro. <laughs> that was the mod mob from yesterday. <sighs> we got him. We we had that one picked out as soon as like as soon as we seen him from up the top. James James came over. I was glass another spot. He said, "I want you to shoot the white face one." And I saw him through the binos, and I said, "That's the one I want as well." So we came down here. We intercepted him. Beat the wind. Got in the shadows. And they were, that shot was 50, 60 yards. So I'm absolutely stoked. Well done, mate. And and as you would have seen, they they had no idea where we were. They even ran straight towards us. So we just you just got to keep that wind in your favour. And it all ha it all happens. It's all sweet. And the three through eight put him down on the spot. He probably ran like 10 yards, and he basically dropped where I shot him. So we'll go have a look. He's actually, he's not bad, he looks pretty good. I'm real happy. That's a nice goat, man. Well guys, here he is. He's probably about 30 inches. Flies are giving me hell. It's gonna be really hard doing the photo shoot without doing this all the time. But I'm really, really happy with him. It's a, probably the last hunt we'll get in for the trip. The sun's going down. Uh, we didn't get to get James on with the longbow. We didn't get a camel, but that'll have to be for next time. That's just hunting. We came, came here and did what we wanted to do. We really achieved the main goals that we wanted. So we're both really happy and we can leave happy. And this is just was an awesome stalk to end the hunt, and James got it on camera, and it was just a really, really enjoyable hunt, and a nice way to end the trip. We've made a little bit more work for ourselves. We've got another head to to cut apart and boil out, but that's all right. It's all worth it. It'll look really good on the wall. So thanks a lot to James for filming and basically get me on the trip. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Benny Harrop. <laughs>